um, and lots of like little bags. I got I brought a backpack so that I could travel with that um, and just compartmentalize stuff when you're traveling. I brought a roll, like I brought like a rolly carry on, which I really liked because I don't like carrying stuff on my back because it hurts my shoulders. Mm -hmm. So that was just really nice to have. So I had like my suitcase. I also overpacked because I took yeah. two big suitcases. Don't do that. Yeah. Just you don't need to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had my two big ones, a <laughs> carry on, and then a backpack. So just take like a <laughs> like a regular suitcase and a carry on and a backpack. That's what I wish I had done when I went. Yeah. Well, like in terms of general advice, I mean, just like pack, pack lighter. I tend to be a lighter packer, but you can get stuff at thrift stores. Yeah. It's going to cost more to pay for like an overweight bag fee you're worrying about. It's even like a pain to worry about two large suitcases. Yes, yes. That was horrible. Because then I, sh I ended up shipping one home, and then my other one was overweight. So <laughs> 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 on my flight home, I had three scarves on, two <laughs> coats. I had like, I had like tried to stuff everything I could <laughs> into my carry on. That was so rough. One thing that is really nice is a like little luggage scale that you can get at like Marshalls or like dollar. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can get them at dollar stores, but you can get them for like five dollars and they're small, and you can bring it and then use it and then like you don't have to bring it back because they aren't they aren't something that's expensive. So I actually brought one of those and it was really nice coming back to like make sure that it was okay and like I ended up leaving a couple things there that I didn't need so that I didn't have to do that and it was it's something that's really simple. That's a good thing to remember. How like difficult or easy was it to get like plane tickets, train tickets if you wanted to go anywhere at like the drop of a hat? Like you're like, oh my class ended early, like I have this weekend off, I wanna go now. Like how difficult or easy was that? The only thing with that is that you kind of pay for that. Yeah. If you book it like a week ahead, it can be five pounds, it's like seven dollars, whereas if the, it's the day of it's twenty-five. Right. Um so it's very easy to like there are buses there are like mega buses going to London and everywhere all the time but you then pay the increased cost so I yeah, feel you should plan it out yeah yeah I, yeah but if, if you like last minute really need to you can like she said yeah. it will just yeah. cost more and even like the week before where it's like yeah you realize that your weekend <laughs> is free and yeah. you didn't realize that it's Monday and you should plan it that's still very doable at a very reasonable price but I mean, even if like you're just traveling like in cars and buses and trains and stuff, like trains can get a little more expensive, but cars and there's there's like this service it's called Blah Blah Car. Yeah, we yeah, that's like really cheap, and you can do that like at the drop of a hat. But like flights wise, I wouldn't really do that what because no. yeah, they can get up there. Yeah, they're still cheaper than American flights, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was wondering the same thing, but for like Asia, did you travel outside of Korea at all? I did. Okay. Um, I have friends that did, uh, but and they seem to have no problem with it. I know people. Um, they went to like Hong Kong or Japan, mm -hmm. and those flights are pretty cheap just because it's um, closer proximity. Uh, yeah, I think if you do something somewhat last minute, it should be okay. Because I know the other student that did the exact same program I did, she wasn't planning to go to Japan but she was able to do it just fine. So if you can just manage, just planning and just managing that, I think you should be okay. Just one thing to keep in mind is like, if you are traveling, you can always like go back to the big places like Paris or London or somewhere, but you can't always go to the little neighboring city or town next to you. So sometimes it's kind of one of those, if you have a weekend, don't always go to the places that you think you'll be back because if you like traveling, you will travel later in life as well, and do the things that are around where you're living or something that gives you kind of a different experience. When you were traveling like short little jaunts, did you, so if I get accepted in my program going this summer, I'll be in um, Dublin. So that kind of means that I'm kind of forced a little bit more to fly. If you flew anywhere to do anything, I'm not sure if any of you guys did, but did you guys just take like a backpack and go or like how did that kind of work out with like traveling and also like worrying about seeing things but also worrying about having the stuff that you have? That's why backpacks, that's why I prefer traveling with a backpack because I would go for a weekend and I flew out of Manchester so I could fly to like mainland Europe and I had my backpack and we would just carry our backpacks around until like we went to bed and it was no problem because sometimes we got in early in the morning and couldn't check into our Airbnb or until 4 p.m. and then 
I didn't, I just put my backpack on. And if you're going for a weekend, it's not heavy, which is nice. Um, so it's, it's still possible to go for a weekend. Yeah, when I would stay at hostels, it, even if you can't check in, you can leave your bag there. So like, um, I would do the backpack and then sometimes I would just do my carry-on instead because I knew that I would be able to leave it where I was. So, um, and like, you can like pack light. Like I went on spring break for a week and we went through like Budapest and Vienna and um, Prague. Yes, and Prague and I just had my backpack. And it was, <coughs> I wore probably like the same thing for like, I mean, I varied it up, but you know, it was like, yeah. it's easy to just wear the same thing for, or a variation of the same thing for a week. Times, so you can pack light. The times I brought like a wheeled suitcase, like a carry-on, I regretted it um, because we were mostly booking Airbnbs and you can't always drop off mm -hmm. your stuff early there. Sometimes it was really nice if you get there at 10 a.m. and they'd say, oh yeah, come right in, just drop it off. But other times we'd be like yeah. wheeling around our... Uh, luggage on like cobblestone streets and um. annoying everybody around us. So I'd recommend a backpack. <laughs> and if you do get like, if you are thinking about a backpack, I would look into carry on backpacks. I got a backpack for like $30 that opened sideways. So for packing reasons, it's so much nicer than the top down because you would have to take everything out to get to the bottom. Whereas mine just unzipped sideways. It was also like the biggest size for a carry on, which was nice because then it gave me the most space. Um, and you can get those on Amazon, and they you can read all the reviews and everything that go along with it. So that's a good thing to think about. Oh yeah, that's true. I, um, for my laptop case, it's something that you can just completely open up, and you don't have to like take out your laptop, put it like. Yep. So like that was very yeah. convenient. It was very nice yeah. to open it sideways, and you just put it on the yep. yep. So we are pretty much coming to a.